The Vibes microphone is mediocre at best. I mean, you can hear what I'm saying right now, but if I talk like this for any longer, you're probably gonna click off this video. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make the Vibes microphone sound like this for only $25. Let's take a look. Welcome to Top Spec, your one-stop shop for tech content. Today, I'm obviously going to be showing you how to improve the quality of your microphone for as cheaply as possible. That means we're not going to be using a mod mic. Mod mics certainly are still an option, but I'd prefer to not spend $50 to $100 if it's not entirely necessary. The cable management you also have to do looks fairly janky unless you decide to opt for one of the more expensive wireless options. The solution I'll be showing you today doesn't look the cleanest either, but it at least won't cost you too much money. Now that that's out of the way, you are going to need two things, a USB lavalier microphone and a USB extension cable from HTC. However, before you run out, or I guess go online and buy the USB extender, you don't need the official one from HTC. The one I use is just some random USB extension cable that I had lying around, so whatever you have should work. As long as the cable's header fits within the Vibes cable panel, you should be fine. As for the microphone, the one I have is just a generic one that was about $15 on Amazon. Honestly, you can literally get any cheap USB lavalier microphone, but if you want to, you can get something a little nicer. Either way, I've left a link to the one I use down below, as well as a link to HTC's official USB cable. All right, now that you have everything, the setup is super simple. First, open the Vibes cable panel by pushing firmly on the top cover and pulling it back. It should just come off and you should now have access to the open USB port within the headset. Now you can connect the USB extension cable to the open USB port, route the cable through the hole in the cover, and close everything up. Next, connect the lav to the extension cable and you're pretty much done. The last hardware thing you'll need to do is a little bit of cable management, which is easier if you have the deluxe audio strap, but not impossible either way. Personally, I routed my cable through the little shroud that the 3-in-1 cable goes through, and then used some generic Velcro ties to keep it all in place. You're free to get creative here, you just wanna keep your extension cable out of the way as much as possible. This should be less of an issue if you get the official cable because that cable is only about a foot and a half. Regardless, once you're pleased with your cable management, you can hook your lav mic up to your shirt, or in my case, sweatshirt, and you're good to go. So that's it for the setup. The last thing that you'll need to do is go into Windows and change the default microphone from the Vive mic to the lavalier microphone. Just go to the sound control panel, go to the recording tab, click the lav mic, and click set default. From there, you should be good to go, but before we conclude this video, let me give you a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the lav microphone along with the Vive's microphone. I already did this in the intro portion briefly, but this should give you a little bit better of a comparison. So first, this is the Vive's built-in microphone. You should still be able to hear what I'm saying, but it's no doubt that this is not a great option for recording or streaming. And this is the lavalier microphone. It's still not the world's best microphone, but compared to the built-in mic, I'd say it's a noticeable improvement. With some light noise reduction, you can actually push some pretty decent quality from this mic. Uh, case in point, check out our Half-Life Alex playthrough video. One more time, this is the Vive mic. And this is the Lav mic. So anyways, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to consider checking out some of our other VR content on the channel. I made a video on how to improve the Vive's tracking, a side-by-side -side comparison between the Index controllers and the Vive wands, and even a Half-Life Alex review. So if any of those sound like they're up your alley, consider checking them out. But either way, I'm Aaron, and this is Top Spec, and we'll see you next week.